entertainment venues work towards recovery from the pandemic. Danny Zalesko of Danny Zalesko's, Danny Zalesko Presents is here to inform us of what the venues are doing to keep everyone safe, uh, Danny. And uh, Danny Zalesko Presents. It's, it's, uh, can I just say Danny Z? Say that. <laughs> That'll work. It's That'll early. Work. Come That's on. It. So, Danny, uh, you know, this is very important. Everybody wants to get back to music. Everybody wants to get back to comedy, seeing shows and stuff. But you came in because... You've been hearing a lot of pushback, you've been hearing a lot of people upset, you've been hearing different things, and you wanted to set the record straight because you are not a state-run business, and I think that's where a lot of people are getting confused at. Well, where, where the confusion starts is that when we book these shows, like in some cases last year, and we've moved them from March, April, May of 2020 to the fall of 2021, you know, we didn't know what was going on when we booked those shows any more than we know what's going on right now, other than the fact that we see numbers surging and, and there being a lot of bands who are saying, you know, why don't we wait again till later in the year or next year when we can do this without fear? So we're trying to keep some of the shows in because things are somewhat back to normal with this thing hovering around in the background. And, and we're just trying to stay ahead of it. So we're asking people to either provide a test, a negative test, yeah. or their vaccine card. We're not gonna look at anything else. We don't care. All we care about is you're cool to be in there with everybody else. And some people have said, well, what about the artists? What about the crew working backstage? What about the people in the building? Everybody in the place will do the same thing. Yeah. They'll either be vaxxed, they'll provide proof to come backstage, which will be a very tight bubble because the band and the bands will probably stay on their buses yeah until they come in do the show so it's it's like the the thing that people don't realize that could happen is if one or two people go down in the crew or in the band that makes it bad for the whole touring party yeah. which means your show is going to go away again yeah and and some people have held on to their tickets four five six postponements and um and we want to put on the shows. I mean, people are going around to church and grocery stores and hanging out, doing this, that, and the other. We're just saying when you're in a confined space for indoors for this period of time, that you know, instead of asking you to mask up. Yeah. I, I, you know, I've been at shows with masks. It's okay. Right. I mean, either way, the artists are still having fun. They're still entertaining us. We're getting our fix. Right. And, but and you're not going to get it otherwise. Jimmy, I got to say is that, you know, um, people, the, the, you know, bands have cut the meet and greets. You talk about backstage. You know, I'm, I'm friends with, you know, Toby Keith and some of these artists and stuff. I'm not even allowed backstage. I'm good friends with them. You're sometimes not allowed to really be Guns around. Guns N' Roses them. tonight. Slash is leaving me tickets. Yeah. Hey, I'll come back and say, hey, I know you won't. Yeah. He go, it's. We don't and, come in until we go on, and we go off, and we're out. Yeah, and this is very important because, again, this is a lot of people's livelihood, and I think when you go to those concerts, yes, you paid your ticket, you know, to see them, but you know what? Think about this is that if you paid your ticket to see them and then they go down, the next person who paid their ticket won't be able to see them. That's right. And I don't think you're, I think you're well, doing what a lot more people are doing. I mean, you have bars that are starting to do it here in Arizona. You have some hotels that are starting to do it with guests and stuff. Sure. Um, so, I mean, it's a... Hey, look, thing. you know, you, you got to think quickly on your feet with this invisible monster around us. You know, I mean, that's what it is. Uh, the groups could easily say, um, we're not going to come, we're going to put it off just because we don't want to risk the financial loss or somebody getting sick if you're not going to adhere to this stuff. So, the groups that are still on the road, Sticks... Jackson Brown, the Monkees. We got some really cool shows coming. They're selling well, and um, you know they're doing good. I, I think we have some pictures of some of the people that are coming up here, as you said. I think we have uh, all the guys that are coming up here in just a little bit, uh, which is really cool. Um, but I think you said something before we came on too, and that was where you guys are not, uh, you know, part of the the you know this the state. And even though the governor has said certain things. You guys are doing your guidelines that, you know, you're supposed to follow, right? Yeah, I mean, there's nothing bad about it. We're, it's nothing different than if you're going to Hawaii. Yeah. You're going to Hawaii in your mind for a couple of hours. You want to go to Hawaii, you're going to get a, you're going to be vaccinated and you're going to have a test. Yeah. And it's really not that big of a deal. I mean, it's a little swab in your nose. So, that's you know. it. So I know we've been looking through the pictures of all the people that you've been with that are coming through it. And again, Valley. Yeah, so all these are coming up. 
There so. was a great one on there. That one right there of um, that's Fiona Prine, John yeah. Prine's wife, and so. Tommy Shaw. We got put in the White Castle Hall of Fame. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> um, okay, so again, the venues, and you, you can go online to all the different venues, and you're, you're speaking, you know, for your venues that you're working with. Just my shows, you know, yeah. and, and basically it's at the Celebrity Theater, and we got some stuff at Mesa Arts, um, and uh, Orpheum, and, and, and everywhere like that. Uh, but it's also out of state too. You have stuff that's going on out of state. Yeah, yeah. and, and things with. things change from from city to city. But like, for instance, I was in Denver the other night with the Happy Together show, and everybody had to wear a mask. Yeah. Um, and you know they were loose about it as far. As, I we didn't want to say make make people wear a mask. It's so hard to enforce. We're not going to get in arguments with people during the show. Yeah. The other way, everybody just knows everybody's cool. Yeah. So I I hope that's not too much of an imposition for people, but. We get to have shows, which right. we haven't had, you know, for so long. Yeah. And I think if we start, uh, I mean, if you start putting these in place, I think more artists are going to want to hit the road, be out here, and, and come visit Arizona and entertain us. Well, also, it's going. I think it helps, in its own way, drive the numbers back uh, by that kind of support. Yeah. And and then we can just go back to normal. But we got to get back there first. Yeah. All right, tell them where they can listen to you because you're still doing uh, the radio and podcast stuff, aren't you? Yeah, dzplive.com. Uh, the book's still for sale there. Yeah, got to check out the book, everything. Uh, so. yeah, and, uh, and all the concerts and podcasts and everything are ready to go. Right there. Danny, thanks for taking it. He's been busy. He just literally flew in, so I'm, I'm appreciate that he came in and we talked a little about this. So thank you, Danny. Great to be here. All right, stick around. we got more of the Arizona Daily Mix coming up after this.